On December 13, a team of 29 trekkers walked from Kegesuglo in Simbu to Bundi in Medeng to conduct a 14-day rural medical patrol through the Foundation's annual Travel to Change program. Vincent Kumura, director of Kumura Foundation, said the team included a medical doctor, a physio, two registered nurses, 11 student community health workers, and track members of Kumura Foundation. From Snowpass Upper Bundi to Tawia Lower Bundi, the team saw and treated over 700 patients, referred over 30 patients, and also ran out of medical supplies. Because on the 13th when we arrived here, um, I think the night before the, the, the first, first clinic here at Snowpass, one of the kids died, a two-month-old baby died. And he was brought in from a remote Emigari village just to see the doctors, but his hopes have been... Uh, I just uh, he couldn't stay to be to be able to be treated properly so he gave up his life the night before we started our clinic and the next day we were fortunate enough to bring three emergency cases up to uh, Gambok and the, the little kids are stable now with four more areas of lower Bundi to cover before today the Simbu Provincial Health Authority assisted with more medical supplies Mr. Kumura said the immense work could not have been done without team effort and supporting partners like Mapai Transport and the Sir Brian Bell Foundation as major sponsor. The Travel to Change track team then moved on to remote Safi in Lower Bundi in the Ramu Valley Plains at the foothill of Mount Otto. Over 1,500 patients were treated during the campaign with over 60 referrals. Kumura said Bundi LLG is so vast with lower Bundi spreading across the vast Ramu Valley. They managed to transport sick patients from far and near to clinic sites. The team conducted minor surgeries to stitching big cuts, treating ulcers, hernia, malaria, scabies, draining fluids out of swollen legs and made referrals. Mr. Kumura said most of these patients have no hope for proper treatment due to a lack of finances and a lack of access to better health facilities nearby. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.